A 77-year-old great-grandmother fell to the ground suffering after a heart problem, but her two-year-old great-grandchild was able to stay in touch with 911 dispatchers to tell them what was happening as responders were on their way. 24 Hour News 8's Tony Taliavia is here to introduce us to this toddler, this amazing toddler, and a West Michigan fire chief who says this is a reminder to talk to your children about emergencies, right? Absolutely, Marley. A relative tells us that the 77-year-old great-grandmother is expected to be okay after her weekend heart trouble. You'll meet the fire chief and the toddler in just a moment. The chief tells us information is, of course, critical in an emergency. And in nearly three decades of experience, he's never seen a child so young able to tell a dispatcher so much. My defibrillator is going off four times. Okay. The 77 year old was able to give that critical information to a 911 operator along with her address. But then the dispatcher heard sounds of pain, and Virginia Claflin could no longer communicate. Are you okay? Virginia? 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 That's when a distinctly Hi. young voice came on the line. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Aliyah Carrasco had picked up the phone her great grandmother was on. She was telling the dispatcher what she could see. I'm not falling down. Did grandma fall down? Yeah. Is, is she still awake or her eyes open? Um, no. Her eyes aren't yeah. open? Does it look like she's sleeping? Yeah. Tell grandma that we have help on the way, okay? Okay. Go open the door for them when they get there. Yeah. Okay. You can hear the firefighters arrive on the dispatch recording. Hello? Hi, hi. Where's Grandma at? Yeah. She directed responders to her baby brother and her sleeping great grandfather before hanging up the phone. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Isn't that awesome? The North Muskegon fire chief says he's impressed in part by just how young Aaliyah is. Um, two. Two and a half, to be more exact. In my 30, uh, 28 years of experience, I've uh, never experienced anything of, of with a, a two and a half year old like this. We've had five year olds and six year olds, but at this age, I was very shocked. Of. The chief says just knowing a child was in the home created a better emergency response. And he says the fact that the girl stayed calm made everything easier. Aliyah's mom, Alicia Simzik, says she's impressed too but not necessarily surprised. That's pretty typical. She loves talking on the phone. The fire chief says what <laughs> happened can be a reminder for families to talk about emergencies, for children to know their addresses and what 911 means. He says the department already starts talking to kids when they are daycare age. Uh, I don't think it's too early for them to start learning now. Aaliyah and her mom were visiting from California, so the toddler may have not known the address at her great-grandparents' home. But mom says the family has talked about who the police are and who firefighters are. And yesterday, the fire chief came by the home to give Aaliyah a gift. Hey, this is my baby. <laughs> Did a fireman give it to you? Um, yes. If you didn't notice, that doll comes with a doctor's stethoscope. The girl's mother tells us that the great-grandmother was set to move to a Grand Rapids hospital today for minor surgery, but she's expected to be okay. Marley?